You know we have a few blue lizards here at the Reptarium. Well, I got news that some more blue lizards had babies. I heard we have a surprise. We do. Are they down here? Ready? Yeah. Let's go over the Nutella room. Let's go. I don't know what this could be. You said it's not a gecko. No, not a gecko. But we're going in a gecko Does Mike room. know what it is? No. No <laughs> freaking way. Dude. Let's see if I can open it without them running everywhere. Right? <laughs> we just gotta be prepared. Oh, oh my cute goodness. Tiny. They're so blue. <laughs> They're so tiny. There's a little right. Those are so cool. And if you guys remember these, these are the lizards that are always holding on to Mike and Connie's fingers. Yeah, we can add some in there, right? I bet Connie's gonna be excited. <laughs> so like, we found a few of these eggs. Yeah, so these are the first ones that hatched. I had another set of them you guys brought down that I thought would hatch, but they ended up going bad. But yeah, we got these guys today. When I walked in, I was like, what? <laughs> What a great surprise. Oh my, they're so cute. Now we gotta figure out what to do with them now, like how to set them up and stuff. I've never taken care of like little baby ones. Yeah. Put them in salt and pepper's old enclosure. <laughs> never seen <laughs> them again. <laughs> Legs almost look orange. Oh wow, yeah. So crazy. What a beautiful nice. lizard. Yeah, what a great excited. surprise. <laughs> Thanks, Jess. How cool is that? Some new life here at the Reptarium. It's a couple new things that we have to go examine as well. I heard that the crew put salt and pepper into Ivy's enclosure. Take a look. Oh my God, that's actually so cool. They look so good in there. They have their own little spots that they're hanging out on. I wonder if they've even been in land or if they've just been hanging on the water the whole time. But the water looks really nasty and the waterfall is not going, so what the heck's going on with that? <laughs> Dang, you're getting dirty and nasty today, huh? Yeah. Just like salt and pepper's water. What's going on with that? Uh, so the pump's broken. What's not breaking? Exactly. So Jeff Hondry Waters is coming. We're gonna hopefully fix it, okay. or at least see. There's gonna be one or two ways. Really easy, not so easy. It's been, uh, what, six years? Five, five, perfectness? And then we move it and then it's broke? Wonderful. Makes sense. Now, I don't know if you guys remember the other week, Mike was talking about these black-headed pythons potentially being gravid. I don't know. The tails are close by. They could have been breeding again. I, I don't really know. They've been breeding a lot and a lot and a lot. Mike's been talking about wanting to ultrasound them. Let's go grab that machine, baby. All right, Mike. You know, you know how to do this? No, I thought you did. Not really. I know you put the gel on it and then you find it. Uh, how do you even get the cord out of here? Who's letting it? Wait, you're just pushing down on it. Ah, there we go. Dad showed me this before. Well, you used it on me before. The ice cream the ice cone. Cream. That's it. You got that figured out these days? Yeah, I already passed it and then I ate it again. There's a whole ice cream cone. Blackheads aren't uh, the most friendly animal around, so which one's the woman? I think it's that one. Yeah, see how twitchy he is? Yeah. That's how I know that's him. So we don't want him. He doesn't react nearly as much, but you can see just how like thick she is here. I don't know. She just seems way thicker than normal and she's not like Well they laid last year, so it's not They did. We got what nine eggs? And yeah. she's actually doing really, really good. So okay. let's just bring her right up here and see if there's anything. We've seen them lock up quite a few times already. So I'm hoping she is gravid, but if not, it's not the end of the world. All right, get that head out the way. Okay. So where would the eggs even be? Like here right now? I mean, this is the part that's swollen, but that looks like some some ribs. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Go back where you just were. I swear I thought I saw an egg. I thought I saw something too. Yeah, you might need more gel. What, Whatever that is right where you were. That was my finger. I, it was either the egg or uh, what do you call it before it lays the egg? An ova. You're supposed to see their gallbladder. Like, what is that? I don't know what that is. Is that the gallbladder? Can you yeah. hold the, this real quick? I'm trying. Is that just me or does that look like the egg, right? I thought you said you know how to do this. See that on ball pythons? I just see only a bunch of ribs. How do people make this look so easy? Like, <laughs> Dude, your fingers are in the way, bro. Like your fingers. I'm, listen, she's slipping through my hand. I have gel everywhere. I don't see anything now. It's plausible that they have eggs. It's neither confirmed nor denied. But what I can confirm is there's gel all over Mike's hands. Do we have a paper towel? Be a little bit more than a piece. <laughs> oh, okay. We're in a budget, dude. So what do you think, Mike? It may be too early to tell. I mean, there are certain days that we come in and she's definitely swollen. So maybe she is just uh, maybe the ovulating and stuff. or something. So yeah, they expanded and they contracted. And then once they get pregnant, they swell up again. We also might not know what we're doing, but I do have another thing that I want to try. Oh, really? Yeah, Dixie. Okay, you're gonna do it this time. We got some good news about a girl Ivy right here. Sadly, we had to put salt and pepper inside of her house, but Ivy and Elvis's tanks are actually gonna be shipped out this week. 
That's right. So it's looking like the next week we will have both Elvis's and Ivy's new enclosure at the Legacy, which means that every other piece can be put together and the reptile side will be done before you freaking know it. Got, uh, eggs from Dixie the last couple of years. They just haven't been very good. So we're going to try it now and see what it looks like. Yeah, we need to talk to Ty Pock. Do you remember when Diddy was and Dixie came here, Mike? We were literally the size of like probably her head, like that small. And now we're talking about her having her own little baby. So yeah, hopefully really she's preggy. All right, you want me to do this one? She's been getting preggy. Been getting preggy. They haven't been fertile, and that could be our fault. We need to talk to some uh, experts. Well, there's a few different things. I mean, they are still young. That's an egg. Oh. Tell me that's not an egg. Two. One there. Wait, wait, wait. There's another one there. Wait, twist it. I'm trying. How do you twist it? Bop it, pull it. A moron. Like, who are you calling a moron? Dude, I'm not an expert, but tell me that doesn't look like an egg. Expert? <laughs> She's being protective of her eggs. I think that, oh! She gave you a little She's bit. All right, watch it disappear now. Thanks. All right, Dixie, hang on, girly. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I just want to get one more. Oh, she's pooped and now she's like walking in it. Uh, where's that favorite towel? Oh, oh she's throwing it. Well, I think that's conclusive. I think that was pretty, uh, yeah, conclusive. Conclusive. Exclusive. Egg-clusive. Inclusive. Incubator-clusive. Iguanativity. Megalodonativity. The equanimity. The um, anemone. Uh, she's got eggs. Maybe. It looked like eggs. All Again, right. we're not professionals, well, okay? Honestly, let's see. If my arm has eggs, then, then so, none of <laughs> that we've seen has eggs. Oh my god, what the hell is in what your is, arm, what dude? What is even that? Look, there's an egg. That's an egg. What oh, is that? That's an egg, dude. I'm telling you. So I, I think it's pretty clear that either everything has eggs, including my arm, or nothing has eggs. What is that? Ooh. Yeah, so it's almost done. Yeah, it's looking good. I would say like 95% of the way done with this tank. I just want to try to get all of this out. Yeah. Dude, that's crazy. That, that was, was probably bad. so freaking boring. Blast some good music and it goes by pretty fast. That's true. This is a lot of work. I mean, we didn't really show Grayson literally yeah. every day for what, a week and a half? Yeah, like, for like, yeah, like a good week. Just like sucking it out and dumping all the, the sand and the water out. And that, and that nasty yeah, trash nasty bin. Trash can that I dumped out earlier. Bro, is that electric lime prime? You mean the glowberry prime? <laughs> Ooh, is that a new bottle? Pretty good. Oh, it's so good that it's dripping out of my mouth. Shout out to Prime. Look what is it? Look what at all that, that yeah. sand. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's impressive. Nasty. I'm gonna grab it. Look at that. Oh, it's like kinetic sand. What kind of sand is this? <laughs> That's that really crappy uh, Floridian sand. Oh, it's Florida sand? Yeah. What are you touching that? All kinds of. And check this out, guys. Grayson also did this. That's right, the koi pond is filled up. Now we're getting close to final water now. So that means that coming up here pretty soon, we might be taking those koi fish from the aquarium house and putting them here. This tank is gonna be packed so many fish. You see how many are there. This thing is gonna be loaded. There's gonna be fish jumping out. It's like a fish buffet. Another big update here is that. Welcome to the humble abode of Lilo. That's right, our baby sloth. This thing's actually fit and seamed up perfectly, so really all that we're waiting for is the rest of the place to be open before we put Lilo over here. And same with Stitches. This one's by far one of my favorites. I feel like it's so much higher. And then Stitch is gonna be utilizing all this. Just a little bit of sticks and branches and ledges and so on. This is gonna be pretty much my favorite exhibit that we do here. Slant tank. This is something I'm looking forward to getting placed. And actually, Alex and the rest of his crew are gonna be coming here in the next couple of weeks to be setting every single saltwater exhibit, acrylic, all that stuff. It's gonna be looking pretty finished over there. Anytime. What's going on? Why are you looking at me like that? Something's missing up there. Well, once Alex is here, we're gonna be bridged up. That's right. Unity across all of YouTubity. Are you excited for this, Grace? I'm excited for this bridge tank. Up there all by myself. It's gonna like. Well, why are you not done then? You know what? It's been seven months of walking under not a bridge tank. I actually go to Rainforest Cafe every week on Thursday. I don't on know Thursday. if you know that. Yeah, Thirsty Thursdays that. at Rainforest? You no. meet us there next week. <laughs> yeah, because I like I just wish our bridge tank was finished. I don't even eat or nothing. I just you walk just sit in. there. Yeah, you I just, just walk. I just in. walk in and walk out. Oh, okay, I just like wow. <laughs> and walk out. They know me by name. Also, this cool, like, look how big that little corner tank is. Alex is bringing that stuff, and I heard there's rumors that there's even other tanks that I have no idea. They'll be going right here. So, 
stay tuned for that too. And make sure you guys stay tuned for tomorrow's video where Jeff's gonna try to fix this broken tank. Poor Jeff, he's been... God bless him. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.